What is up guys and welcome to today's video. So today I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before but I think it'd be fun. So I hope you all just enjoy the video. All right, so what we got for today's video, I've got a Mystery Tackle Box Pro. This is for the month of October. I got mine in a little late. But um, so what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and then kind of uh, maybe a review of the tackle that I got this month. So what I wanna do is kind of like a blind reaction to each thing. Um, not necessarily uh, maybe the brand that it is, but more of like the lures. And this will kind of just be my opinion of uh, just the lures themselves. I'll just give them each a uh, rating uh, one out of five of my excitement of getting them out of the box. So you can see the box is still sealed. I have no idea what's in here. And so I'll kind of just tell you how excited I am to get each lure um, based on kind of the water I fish and how helpful I think it will be to me and my chances of actually using it to catch fish in the future. So I got a little pocket knife. Let's uh, go ahead, get this bad boy and we will open up our mystery tackle box. Take, no, there it goes. Put that up. All right. So, got it opened. And first lure, I'm just gonna grab them kind of randomly. Okay, that's awesome. That is sick. Okay, so what this is, this is a Beast Coast jig. And why I'm excited to get this is if you've been watching any of my videos from maybe like a month ago, Lake Travis that I fish a ton, we've been throwing little uh, little jigs like this. We've been throwing Bitsy Bugs, which is like the exact same size as this. This color is amazing. I have never, I've well, I've heard of Beast Coast fishing, um, but I'll kind of give you all another little look at it right there. Good looking little jig. It's unique. I think it uh, it has a feather. Yeah, it's got a feather in there along with traditional like skirt material. So I don't want to like, <laughs> I don't want to like overreact, but I mean, this is something I needed more of. So I like, I want to give it a five out of five for my excitement level. I know for a fact, this will be on my line um, next time I go fish like Travis, which might be in a week or so. So this 100% is going to get used, pumped about that. So five out of five on the Beast Coast Fishing Collection Premium Bass Jig. This is the Hustler Hybrid Finesse Jig. So first one, five out of five. Pumped about that. All right, number two. This one's a little interesting. Okay, so we got a uh, Weston lure. Uh, I'm gonna have to read it. I don't really know exactly what this is. It looks like some type of crankbait. It's a Baby Bite Senior. So low floating. Um, interesting color. This, uh, this color would be good for some like stained water, um, but I don't really have a lot of stained water around here. Um, it looks like it's just kind of a shallow running crankbait of some sort. I like Weston lures, uh, but I don't know where this would come into play. Also, the thing about these Weston lures, they're pretty unique. Um, and I'm seeing that this lure is pretty unique. I might just pop it out of the box to, to show y'all. Okay. So now that you can see it a little better, you can tell that this is a unique design. Uh, it's like got a tail on the crankbait. Um, it's very skinny right here, but then it's thick up top. Uh, it looks cool. It's a cool bait is the thing. It's just that I don't, I don't know where I'm gonna use it unless it's a, maybe it's a wake bait. I don't know, but that, that color's a little bit bright for me. So I don't know. I'm gonna give it like a two out of five. I just don't see myself using this. Um, but I've been proven wrong by the Western lures in the past. So, I don't know. It looks like it's a good quality lure at least though. So I'll just have to maybe throw it around, see what it is. If it's a wake bait, it might have a place for me. If not, I'm just not sure. <laughs> okay, lure number three. I'm looking at it and I'm pumped. And for a fact, I will be throwing this. We've got a half ounce spinner bait. It is in white, which is an amazing color right now. I've been throwing white spinner baits for the past few weeks. 
This also has white blades. This is a Dobbins D-Blade Advantage. So it looks like we've got two willow blades on this bad boy. It's a big half ounce spinnerbait. That's a good looking spinnerbait. Uh, one of my favorite details is it's got the red eye right there. I love that red eye. It just adds a little pop, a little detail, something different on the spinnerbait for this bass to key on. And it looks like a good, good spinnerbait. So you will definitely see this in future videos on Choke Canyon. Choke Canyon is loaded with hydrilla, lots of grass. And I love throwing spinnerbaits out there. Once there's a little wind on the water, a little disturbance, a little chop, spinnerbait gets it done. Five out of five. I'm pumped. I was out of white spinnerbaits. I lost mine, um, I think, last week when I went fishing. So I needed this. Five out of five excitement level for the Dobbins D-Blade Advantage. All right. Three lures down. Let's see what we get next. I'm just kind of grabbing them at random. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is um, an Excite Baits crankbait. Um, there's a lot of Excite Baits normally in the mystery tackle boxes. I'm familiar with the brand. And this is a good looking crankbait. Oops, almost dropped it. Good looking crankbait. Look at that pattern. That is a nice little shad pattern. A little bit of purple on top though. I love it. Looks good. Let's read about it. So it's a silent crankbait, no rattle or anything in it. Dives seven to eight feet. So kind of what you would call a medium diving crankbait, um, half ounce. And it is the XB100. Yeah. Um, so I don't, I don't throw a lot of medium diving cranks, but I don't give them a fair try. I think that I will actually break this bad boy out and throw it on Lake Travis coming up once we get into those colder months. Um, I know that I've been throwing a little bit shallower running crankbaits out there and they've been doing amazing. So I could use this to cover a little bit deeper water for some fish that are a little further out off the rocks at Travis. Um, I'm going to give it a four out of five. I'm gonna give it a four out of five because I cannot, I, it, it looks amazing. It looks from phenomenal and I should throw it and I think I will throw it. It's just that I, uh, I don't have a whole lot of experience with the medium diving crankbaits, but that is a good looking lure. I'm glad I got that. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Pretty pumped so far. This is a really good box so far for October. Okay, I feel some soft plastics. Ooh, what do we have here? I'm gonna have to set the box down for a second. <coughs> What in the world? This is a brand that I have not had yet. So this is Liquid Mayhem. Wait, it's 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 a scent. There's a liquid scent and soft plastics in there for me. What in the world? I, I like the color. It looks like a big soft plastic uh, like paddle tail swim bait. Wow, those look good. It's got, it's a very good. Uh, uh, bluegill sunfish imitation color. I'm trying to find the actual name on here. Um, these are the Mayhem Thirst Swim Minnows in Sunfish. Called it. Looks like a sunfish. Five inch swim bait, five pack, and it comes with liquid freshwater series scent. Ooh. This is a good box, guys. This is insane. Um, so they actually do kind of like customize these boxes towards the time of year and lures that you're probably going to be wanting to use um, with the pattern the fish are on. And all I'm thinking when I see these, I'm thinking about that thick hydrilla on Choke Canyon. I'm thinking about putting a flashy swimmer or like a flash bang hook underneath this and just pulling it through that grass. Did it a little bit uh, two days ago. Actually, no, it was yesterday. I went fishing yesterday throwing a swim bait just like this, a different color, but just like this. And they were hitting it hard. This is a good bait. I'm gonna give it a four out of five excitement level um, because it's something I don't use a ton. I haven't tried it yet. A little, I'm just like a little skeptical, but I'm, I, I mean, it's a phenomenal lure. I'm glad that I have this. I need this in my arsenal. Uh, these will make great trailers. You can bite the head off, trim them a little bit. And you can make it a trailer for all kinds of things. I'm pretty excited about the scent, actually. And I I just, I think I'm going to throw this next time I go to Choke Canyon. I mean, the only reason I don't want to give it a five is because I'm not, like, just super, super, super pumped um, like I was about the spinnerbait. Uh, so, four out of five. 
pretty awesome. We're doing good so far, guys. This is the best box I've gotten, in my opinion. Okay, all right. And I believe this is the last item in the box. We're gonna round it out with some four aught wide gap worm hooks. These are just some eagle claw, pretty basic uh, extra wide gap worm hooks. And I believe uh, these are made specifically, or they're paired specifically to go with those uh, swim baits I just showed y'all. So, I mean, I'm just gonna give this a three out of five excitement. This is nothing special, um, but you always need hooks. I need more hooks all the time. And these will definitely get used because I mean, Texas rig, use them on a swim bait, use them on a fluke, all kinds of stuff. So three out of five, pretty standard stuff right there. But I'm gonna take a look at the box, see what else we have in here. So, We've got a little Catch Coast sticker. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I kind of just saved these up. I don't know what to put them on yet. Um, I don't want to put them on my kayak because I think they'll just get messed up. And uh, I need to get a new like new tackle boxes to put in my bag, so I don't want to put them on that yet. So I kind of just like collect these and I'll put them on something later on. Um, and then you kind of have this little card here. And all this card is, is just tells you what you got in your box and it tells you the value um, of each item that you got in your box. So uh, the the Weston Baby Bite Senior, $10. Excite Baits, uh, the Crankbait I got, $9. Liquid Mayhem Thrust Minnow, $7.50. Hmm. Uh, Beast Coast Hustler Hybrid Finesse Jig. I forgot about that jig, that jig looks good. That little jig um, normally sells for $6.50 for that little jig, that's crazy. And then the Dobbins D-Blade uh, spinner bait is $6. And then the eel claw hooks are $1.50. So great value out of this box, guys. I'm, I'm pumped. And then also, I mean, they just give you like the, the dibble tips and tricks. It's just a little booklet, um, a little crossword on the pack. It's whatever, I don't, I don't ever do this. But um, just kind of gives you some tips. Probably can't read it, but just tips in here about you know fishing this time of year fishing certain lures stuff like that yeah I, I normally don't mess with this but what a box i'm pumped good box it's got to be one of the best boxes i've had since i've been getting mystery tackle box i'm super excited about a few baits as i told you guys you'll probably see them in future videos coming up i might even be able to do a mystery tackle box slam with these lures um man great box but yeah, we're just gonna have to try these out and see. Uh, I am not affiliated with Mystery Tackle Box, by the way. I just wanna put that out there. We're not partnered or anything. I'm just a fan of the company, of the product. And uh, I, I just think that this is such a, a cool little deal just to get these random lures that are helpful and they're designed to help you catch fish um, during the month that you get them. So uh, I also, even though I'm not affiliated, I, uh, I'm a member at Carl's and I have a little link that if you use it to get uh, Mr. Tackle Box, um, if you use my link, I'll have it in the description, uh, you will get $10 off your first box. And then if you get like a second box, it'll give me $10 in store credit so I can get some more lures. So if you're thinking about getting Mr. Tackle Box, trying it out, go ahead and use my link that I'll have in the description of this video. Um, it'll help you out and it'll help me out too. And I'd really appreciate that. So uh, if you liked uh, videos like this, if you like this video and you wanna see more of these, Hit that like button for me. Let me know that you enjoyed the video. Um, this is something I can definitely keep doing in the future if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in future videos. If you have any ideas, uh, just say hey to me. If you have any questions about this video or anything else, don't be afraid to ask me in the comments and I'll answer those questions for you guys. And most importantly, if you're enjoying the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. Subscribing to the channel is the biggest way that you can help me out and help the channel grow and I would just greatly appreciate it. Um, and with all that being said, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.